This video is about the complex analysis practice problems on Cauchy integral formula and residue theorem. So in this video what we will do is this that we will take the same integral and solve it by both Cauchy integral formula and residue theorem. So this was a 5 mark question I got in my exam. So they asked us to solve it by Cauchy integral formula but I will also show you how to solve by residue theorem. So this is our function in here and it have a pole of order 3 at z equal to pi by 6. This is for residue theorem by Cauchy integral formula. This will be equal to 2 pi i by 2 factorial because they have degrees 3. So here it will be 2 into second order derivative with respect to z and the function which is up there. So just taking the second order derivative and then we will put z equal to pi by 6. So after taking first derivative and second derivative we get this expression and putting z equal to pi by 6 in different things. Also in exams I was just a little bit confused what will happen if we put z equal to pi by 6 in sin raised to power 6 z. It's simple just put pi by z equal to pi by 6 get the value and make it to the raised to power 6. That's it. That was a little confusion I got. So now just putting the values and then just simplifying it. Do it by yourself. You will just think that you know how to simplify it. But you will learn new things when you will simplify it. So now just simplifying it and we get 21 pi i by 16 as the answer. Now similarly by residue theorem we have a pole at pi by 6. So 2 pi i multiply by residue at pi by 6 and residue at pi by 6 is calculated by this formula. We will take 1 by n minus 1 factorial which is 2 and limit z approaches to pi by 6. Second order derivative here it is cube so it is second order derivative function multiply by its pole value and this will cancel it and we will remain with this expression which is similar to the expression we got here so its answer is 2 pi i by 16 also. Now you will say how residue theorem make it easier to solve. Now this question only had one pole. If there is something multiplied for example z minus pi by 4 and z minus 3 pi by 4 then by Cauchy integral formula this will be really difficult to solve because we will have to need take 3 partial fractions and then solve those integral by themselves and then add them. But by residue theorem you just have to take the residue at this, this and this and then add them and multiply it by 2 pi i. So by residue theorem it is easier to solve. So now let's move on to the next question which is this one. This one was really easy. This was also a 5 marks question. The above one was also a 5 marks question. So now this one, this one is really easy just by Cauchy integral formula z equal to 0 is pole of order 3. So now 2 pi i by 2 factorial d to z by dz square e raised to the power iz at z equal to 0 and then just taking the derivative e raised to the power iz will give i once and then again i iota square is minus 1 we get a minus and e raised to the power 0 is 1 so answer is pi i. Now I will ask you to solve this by residue theorem by yourself because the one who need practice is you. So try solving this by residue theorem and get this answer as minus pi i. Now there was another 5 mark question which was to prove and state Gauss mean value theorem. So this is a theory one. I have a separate video on Gauss mean value theorem. Then there was another question of 5 marks which was to prove Cauchy integral formula. This is also proved in my another theory video. So now there was no question like this. There was a question on expanding this on Lorentz series. But I thought I should show you how residue theorem will help us to solve this one. Because we need partial fraction then expand the integrals then add them by Cauchy integral formula. But we just need the residue at 1 and 3 by using residue theorem. We calculate the residue at 1 and residue at z equal to 3 and we have to sum them. So now residue at 1 is limit z approaches to 1 z minus 1 multiplied by the function. So we get 1 upon z minus 3 z minus 1 and z minus 1 cancels each other and z approaches 1 we will put z equal to 1 and hence we will get minus 
1 upon 2 because 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So here and z equal to 3 will give us 1 by 2 and the answer is 0 because the sum is 0 so it will give us a 0. So this is how we solve question regarding Cauchy integral formula and residue theorem. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.